July 4th is, of course, a proud American moment for sure, but we can make every day Independence Day for many Americans, and these guys are going to help. They're, we're going to give a dog a job, and this is how it works. Canine Companions for Independence provides highly trained assistance dogs to children, adults, and then veterans with disabilities. CCI relies on Labradors and Golden Retrievers bred at their own facilities. The puppies live with volunteers for 18 to 20 months who teach them basic commands and socialization skills. And these puppies, they learn over 40 advanced commands at a VA professional CCI training facility. They can open and close doors, turn lights on and off, pick up dropped items, even pull a wheelchair. And the dogs are all services for these dogs are free thanks to donations. We're joined by retired U.S. Captain James Van Tock and his service dog Liz here, beautiful. Plus Saxton Eastman and a dog handler and puppy handler raise, raising a puppy along. And this handsome guy here is Miller. We are so glad Glad to have you guys here today. Captain, thank you for your service. Uh, we're so appreciative. And just tell us a little bit about why these dogs matter so much to the people that need them. Yes, um, the service dog for, for me and for, for other people gives us a second lease on life. Um, with my injuries from the war zone, I wasn't able to work or have a future career as a military officer or even practice law. So service dog list has impacted my life and given me a second lease on life. And her empowering me has allowed me to become a suicide prevention counselor and helping uh, other people in need and giving them a second lease of life. And it's brought me to Afghanistan as well as to Israel with Operation Proper Exit and Heroes to Heroes, as well as to help people uh, who are affected by uh, military scams and romance scams online. So I can continue to give back because Service of Liz has given back to me. It's a gift that keeps on coming. And Captain, your personal story is really incredible. You know, graduating from law school, volunteering, you went to Iraq, you were injured once, you went back and were injured again. So you have sort of that personal knowledge about what it takes to recover. Do these animals not only help in, in, a, in a physical sense with the tasks they do, but is there an emotional component as well? Uh, most definitely. Uh, these service dogs from CCI are just trained to, to complete tasks, but um, uh, they are in their own natural setting from their brain and, and uh, how they're, they're bred. They're able to emotionally give a uh, connection to each individual. So it's just the extra whipped cream on the top. Yeah. And it, it, it's, it's a great opportunity. And it's great that they're provided to us free of charge. G give us a sense of what Liz can do for you. I mean, it, it, you always hear what service dogs can do. Show us. Yes. Uh, because of my injuries, I take about 21 pills a day to survive. So if I'm not able to take one of my pills, if somebody's not around me, I can, I can possibly die. So, for example, uh, one of this medication is very important that, that I need. So, if I, example, if I try to grab it or I'm having a uh, shock, I drop it. I could just tell a uh, service dog, Liz, Liz, get, don't get. Oh hold, hold, okay. sit. I need to see she's not going to chew and I'll play with it. Hold, give. Good girl. Good job. Wow. wow. Good job. That, and she moves. Good so job. Quick. Good job. <laughs> she, that, she was spot on. She was ready for that. And, and how quickly do they react when they're trained like this? Uh, they take a, uh, takes about two years of training to complete all this. Wow. But once, uh, once she's provided to that person has a disability, they are ready to go. Just like a police officer's graduate from a police academy, they're ready to go and, and ready to serve and uh, and ready to help that person have a second lease of life. And is there uh, are they individual dogs matched with an individual person? Is there a lot goes into that? Yes. Um, when you're uh, going through the training with the service dog, uh, there are is a a, a week of uh, training. Uh, with several service dogs, and then there's a committee that makes a decision which which one is the best for you, and also you get to the top three, which you felt uh, would work best for you too as well. Saxon, I want to bring you in here. Yeah. This is totally volunteer on your part, right? Yes. So I'm a volunteer puppy raiser. Basically, what I do is I get the dog at eight weeks old, and then I keep the dog for about a year and a half, 18 to 20 months, as you said before. And my biggest job is to teach the dog house manners, to teach them their basic skills, and to socialize them to everything the world has to offer. So, for example, what we're doing here today, he's, you know, being calm, laying down, settling near a working service dog. That's a great socialization experience for him.
for him. So that's my I, I, said, I mean, it, it, it's incredible to, for you to give your time, but you're also giving your heart. How hard is it? You've got a puppy that yeah. you raise from eight weeks to two years, and then you have to ship him off. Oh, of course, it's so hard. You fall in love with the dog, and, and goodbye is very hard. But I can tell you that there is no better payoff than when your dog succeeds and makes a positive impact on somebody else's life. You know, standing here with Captain Talk is, for me, a wonderful reminder of why I do this. And so, yeah, it's, puppy raising is such a meaningful uh, Mil Miller, experience. Miller, that's what you're going to become someday. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what's coming, buddy. Take notes. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many people that would love to be involved. I want to make sure we get your organization out there. It's CCI.org for more information. I'm sure there are a lot of folks that would love to be a volunteer puppy raiser.